Okay, so this is the first sort of real demo of Desire working properly. You can see there's a Raspberry Pi here that's been wired into the back of the Decent machine, which is currently off. Um, this is connected to the machine where the Bluetooth adapter that would be normally part of the machine has been removed, and it's speaking the same serial protocol that that device would be speaking. So anyway, the first thing I'll do here is I'll run the Desire binary on the Raspberry Pi. Um, that thing is now listening to the serial port. It's not getting any information because the decent machine itself is off. So I'll reach back around and turn it on. What we start to see is that it begins getting uh, state updates from the decent machine. What we're seeing here is this serial protocol that's spoken between the decent machine and the Bluetooth adapter itself. The tablet speaks a sort of a modified version of this protocol over Bluetooth. One of the things about that Bluetooth protocol is that some initialization steps take place when the uh, tablet and the decent first established communications with one another. Um, those aren't going to be happening here, so for the moment I have to issue at least one manual command to sort of get the decent to start communicating about its state. I, don't, I haven't figured out exactly why that's required on my part, but um, in any case, we can now see the machine is chatting away. The updates you're seeing, the sort of the long ones are temperature updates, and the sort of shorter ones are um, about the water level in the, in the reservoir. Okay, so then the next thing to do, I guess, is to explain that the, the, the uh, desire box here is actually um, on the network exposing a port and I've modified the tickle code so that this OS X version running an Android wish of the decent app, instead of trying to talk to Bluetooth, will instead connect to that TCP port over the network. Um, so if I do that um, and run that sort of special version of the app, you can see like, here's the full blown app. And like the first sign that we have that this is actually connected, as you can see, it's, it's actually getting real temperature updates from the machine. And then lo and behold, like if we go into one of the functions and actually click on uh, start here, like I mean, it'll, uh, it'll actually control the machine properly. Um, we can do steam and it just does what you'd expect. The latency is quite good in this type of configuration actually, like it feels about as responsive as the tablet does. And I think Espresso will work as well. Um, I don't have anything in there, um, but it, and it's running some kind of weird profile. I don't even know what this is. But in any case, had I put actual Espresso into the uh, Porta filter, which I probably ought to have done, um, I think it's fully capable of just operating the machine as though it was the tablet. Um, so this demonstrates essentially that the, that the uh, desire bridge is able then to create a new connection point for devices that would not otherwise be able to talk to the machine. And my hope is that this will allow for people to be able to do stuff like, for example, um, build on the Android, I'm sorry, on the uh, Raspberry Pi, um, build out something like a RESTful interface that could have somebody able to inject a command like, um, you know, oh, hey, like fill, fill the water tank or like, w like start warming up because for whatever reason, they're not happy with the way the machine is making those decisions on its own. It's maybe also interesting to point out that um, if I'm back in like desire here and I issue a command like um, manually, uh, like this, which if I typed it correctly, this should begin Steam. Like the app you can see in the background immediately got that that was happening from seven. It heard that that was happening from the machine when the machine updated its own state. Um, and so everybody's sort of collectively talking to one another, like jointly across this shared bus. Um, or rather more precisely, all of the controllers are communicating sort of like 
unidirectionally to the descent, but the descent does a good job of broadcasting back out then whatever state it has so the controllers can just sort of know what's going on and it's not as though um, you only can have a single device controlling the machine. Anyway, I have a bunch of more additional work to do here and I don't think that bridging to this app will be like my next point of focus. This was a sort of a proof of concept. Um, so thanks for watching.